And then, hey, Grant, how's it going? <laughs> so Grant and I were in like a Leva training course together, I don't know, a month or two back. And uh, he's in here charging up his, his batteries for, for his bike. Do you want to maybe point it out real quick? This is sort of a, a neat bike to see. And you did this yourself, right? Yeah, this is my, my Franken, Franken bike. Okay, yeah, look at it. At first glance, it's like, oh my gosh, what's going on here? But look at that. So that's a 750-watt uh, Bafang 8-fun uh, mid-drive motor. Pretty easy kit to pop on there. It's a BBSO2, BBSO2. right? BBSO2. Yep. Um, I have a little cooling fan that I kind of Mickey Mouse on myself, but it works pretty well. Uh, you don't really need the fan if you're an average weight rider, but for a heavier rider, you know, extreme you stop and go. It's uh -huh. nice to have a little bit of air cooling, yeah. a little bit of airflow coming over it. Well, the fact that you wired it all in and everything <laughs> is awesome. Yeah, yeah. And then I noticed these, these Sturmey Archer, they're like drum brakes is they, what you're they saying, They are right? exactly drum brakes. They are uh, drum brakes that you have to have laced into your own wheel. Did you do the lacing? Uh, I did not. I, okay. I had them, uh, I actually had them done next door here, by the way. Okay. Um, but yeah, so had them laced. Um, it's good if you're gonna be going over 20 miles an hour. It's good to have safe, High quality spokes, high quality rims, high quality everything if you're going to be going over 20 miles an hour. And the rest of this bike um, is looking, like the only thing stock about it is kind of the frame. I noticed <laughs> that the seat post shock, this is the SR Suntour NCX. So it's got this nice sort of, I, can you do the, you were doing that earlier. That's, that's the action. Look at that, that's sweet. And do you feel like that improves the ride quality for you a lot? It does. No, I don't know about a lot, but <laughs> I, I haven't, I've never ridden with anything non-suspension. So it's, it add, definitely adds a little bit of a suspension to it. Because you've also got the fork, but this it's, almost it's makes a, yeah, it. It's, it's a cheap front fork. It's not a good quality fork. This is kind of just my daily driver ride. But look, it gets the job done. It gets and the job done. They got a nice it, display it, and there's the button pad. And what is this Wu Shing? That's, that, uh, uh, that's part of the kit. Um, it's for, as you as you have motor power, you press that and it cuts out the motor power so that you can sh you're shifting oh. your bike derail. You're not under full power of the motor. I don't know if I saw that when it's, I reviewed the kit. That's cool. A, it's it's an add-on thing to the kit that I got from uh, Paul at EM3 EV. Okay. Any other call-outs for like all the parts? Um, and you've got the Anderson connectors, like you know. Anderson connectors definitely the way to go. Um, up to 45 amps handling power. That's pretty much it. Uh, EM3 EV is a good website for high power batteries, high power motor kits. Uh huh. Um, yeah. Look at this. Oh, and then when you so you put that on, I think it's like cadence sensing at the at the bottom bracket. Uh yes. Yeah. Okay. The, the, yeah. The bottom bottom bracket for the BBSO2 is a cadence sensor, which is a little funky. I honestly use it throttle only. Throttle um, only. Okay. I, I played around a little bit with the with the pedal assist, but for my personal taste I do throttle only okay and then you've also got the speed that is, yeah. measurement for and that's Correct. for the display and everything Correct. right yes so the cycle computer functions yep. yeah Grant this is awesome it's it was just so it's like serendipity seeing you here <laughs> yeah um, getting to check um, out all the stuff also advocate you know you, want, you know I, I read somewhere you know some of the biggest issues with electric bikes are not electric bike problems they're bike problems hmm. flat tires you don't want flat tires yeah you know spend spend the money on good quality tires that are not gonna go flat yeah and and the, you know, <laughs> thicker tubes, get the thickest, heaviest tubes you can. Okay. Um, with, the, with the power of a, of a motor, you don't really care about a few grams of weight. And what is the uh, it's like voltage and amp hours on your battery pack? Because I saw it's like they're, Samsung cells. Yeah, they're Samsung cells. Um, it's, it's probably a 48 volt? It's a 48 volt nominal. It's actually about 50 volts, I think. Okay. Uh, it's about 50 volts actually charged. Um, Where did you get battery. those? Where were the batteries the from? The battery, the battery came from uh, Paul at EM3 EV. Okay. For, so EM3 it came, it came from Hong again. Kong. It takes a little while to get here, but they're it's a good reputable seller, and they're Samsung cells, which are good cells. Oh, excellent, excellent. Yeah, thank. You.